Hi, I'm Dr. Vai Jayanti. I'm a fertility specialist. A common question I get asked in my clinical practice is that I have PCOS, will I be able to conceive? Every day in my clinical practice, I see women with PCOS who have challenges getting pregnant. So we follow a stepwise approach in helping these women get pregnant. The good news is that we are able to help a vast majority of the women with PCOS get pregnant. So what is the stepwise approach? Usually around two thirds of the women who have PCOS also have all are obese or overweight. In this woman, the first step is to help, uh, help them to adopt a healthy lifestyle. So what do you mean by this? So it includes healthy balanced diet and also including exercise in their daily uh, regime so that they are able to lose weight in a controlled way over a period of time. It is easier said than done in this PCOS women to lose weight. So are we at mother to be have a dedicated team of specialists which help including a dietitian who sits with them and plans the dietary um, pattern for them so that they are able to lose weight over a time over a period of time in a healthy way. How much weight loss are we looking at when we're talking about weight loss in this women who suffer with fertility issues? We are looking at about 5 to 10 percent of loss of the current body weight. So to translate it into numbers, say a woman has got a weight of about 70 kilos, we are looking at a weight loss about 5 to 7 kilos, which is quite easy to achieve with dedicated diet and exercise uh, regimes. So how does weight loss affect uh, fertility? So usually when these women do achieve this weight loss of 5 to 7 kilos, they, they are more responsive to fertility medication and in some women what happens is the periods do become regular that is they start ovulating regularly which means they are able to get pregnant on their own. So the next step when we move on to is what is called specific fertility treatment which we are going to offer. The first step in the treatment is simple fertility medications which are started from day 2 of the cycle for about 5 days. So this is to facilitate egg growth and release. So we do an ultrasound in order to monitor the egg growth and release and if necessary to adjust the dose. So the good news is that with these simple steps that is losing weight and by with simple fertility medications we are able to help a significant number of women achieve a pregnancy. So if these initial steps are not successful in achieving a pregnancy then we move on to an intermediate step which is called IUI. IUI stands for intrauterine insemination. In this uh, treatment method in addition to providing fertility medications in order to facilitate the egg growth when the egg is about to rupture we also get the husband's sperm separate the good sperm in the lab and put it inside the uterus with a small narrow plastic tube so this process is called IUI so if we are able to help some PCOS women achieve pregnancy with this method so the next step is IVF. So if the women have not been successful in achieving a pregnancy with these initial steps, then we suggest IVF. IVF is commonly known as test tube baby. With all, with all these measures we have discussed so far, we are able to help a vast majority of the women who have present to us with fertility issues. So if you have any issues related to fertility and PCOS, please reach out to us at Mother to be Fertility. Thank you. As you travel towards High Tech City with Shilpa Raman on your left, you will hit a signal with High Tech Charminar on right. At this signal, take a left, and Mother to Be is just 170 meters on your left.